Good morning. Today we begin our journey together using the Learn curriculum in the Bible Engagement Project app. Last night in our Learn Community session, we considered the question, why is the Bible relevant to me? The answer to that question is, because it's God's Word. We looked at verses like Isaiah 7:14, which prophesied the birth of the Savior, and it was fulfilled in the life of Jesus of Nazareth. Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Jesus is Emmanuel. That means God is with us. God is with us. Think about that for a moment. Have you considered how the birth of Christ proves God's love for you? You are greatly loved. Jesus, the creator of the universe, willingly humbled himself to come to earth and become one of us. His mission was to rescue us from the just wrath of God against sin and to restore our relationship with God. God is supremely holy, he's good and he's pure, and he sees sin as rebellion. He can't simply ignore sin. His perfect justice demands that sin be punished, and the price is high, the price is death. Eternal separation from God forever. That's the definition of hell. But God demonstrated his love toward us that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans chapter 5, verse 8. Jesus fulfilled his mission to earth by taking the punishment for sin that should have been yours and mine. With his own blood, he willingly paid for our sin on the cross. He laid down his life so that we could live. There's no greater example of love than the cross. You are greatly loved. Scripture's clear. If we turn from sin and trust in Jesus as our Savior and Lord, God will forgive our sin and we are no longer judged guilty. Our relationship with God is restored. We receive a new life in Christ for today, for tomorrow, and for all eternity. What you're struggling with right now, Jesus knows. He knows your sorrow, your loneliness, your pain, and every challenge that you face. His promise is to be God with us right now. We took an early look at a familiar Christmas passage and it reminded us that we are greatly loved. As you fix your eyes on Jesus and his great love for you, you're going to find yourself living the best life you have ever lived. Heavenly Father, you alone are wise and good. Thank you for the truths that are contained in your holy word. Thank you that by your grace, you knew the end from the beginning and you sent your son to be born of a virgin and become the full and final payment for my sin. Thank you, Jesus, that you walk this earth as a human and you understand the limitations of our humanity. Thank you that you help us in our trials and temptations. And Lord, we praise your name that you are coming back again. Even so come, Lord Jesus. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.